Welcome to the tutorial of Clashive Clan API. Um, this service with the Clashive Clan being for long now, uh, from 2016. Uh, it's a great tool to use. Uh, apart from in Clashive Clan, you can do a lot of things with this. Uh, it's a great tool. Um, there's a forum on this in Clashive Clan. Um, a lot of people been posting a lot of things that you can read through, understand more, and see what the community is doing. Um, a lot of people like try to get this working, and then for some reason they are not able to do it. Maybe there's not enough information on how to get started, or they probably just not interested anymore in going on. So the purpose of my video is to you started use Clash of Clan API and uh, do something for the community if you want to use it or personal use it or hobby or anything like that. Uh, to name some of the tools, for example, Clash of Stats, uh, one of them, I think they're now providing for Discord. You run Discord servers for your plan. There's another one, Clash Sidekick. It's also, they also provide. Uh, tools for your Discord servers. They're, they're amazing, they're great, they're doing really good. Uh, if you're interested in Discord servers or running your own bot, look up on Discord. Okay, yes, yes, yes. Uh, um, apart from that, uh, there here's a couple of things you might be interested in as well as um, if you're interested in learning the tools we're going to use in this tutorial, like uh, uh, HTML. CSS, JavaScript, uh, PHP, then these, these are good books. Uh, in my opinion, they're great. Um, you can buy them wherever you are. Uh, they're great. Uh, because it, as you're going to do this uh, learning process, it's good to learn. I mean, there's nothing bad to learn and new skills as a hobby or just, just learning. I mean, I think front end development or web development is a great skill to have nowadays, in my opinion. Uh, the next thing you might need is the editor. <laughs> when it comes to editor, people do have a lot of um, opinions on them, but it's all good yeah, as long as you have one. It's fine. You you may not need it basically later on because you might not be interested in doing it. So continue on this project or this project. Uh, but in my opinion, these are the ones that I really use, or I've been using them. Um, Visual Studio, Sublime, so, um, WebStorm, I think you, you get 30 days free. I mean, if you're really into it. Uh, but I recommend Sublime. And the next one of the important things that we will need is a ZAMP. Um, is the Apache server running from your Computer. So basically what is happening that when you're going to request a API to information throughout the API from Clash of API, so we need to request from the servers and fetch those data into your back to your computer. So for that, uh, we need a something, some sort of server functionality in order to get it. So I wouldn't go through much if you are not really into this and if you're beginners just starting, uh, just follow the tutorial, don't bother it. If you're really into the you can go and search. I mean, book is not the only way in the internet. There are thousands and thousands of videos out there you can watch and learn. Uh, so this is kind of things that you can show. I'll put these links down below in the descriptions. You can have a look. Uh, the Clash of Clan API, how, where are we going to get started now? So the first thing first you will do is go register yourself. So I think you'll put down your details in, then verify the images to perfect the applications. Then once you have created your account, to go. Uh, and I would assume that you have also, also installed one of those IDs. If you don't have IDs, you can use your notepad. Uh, don't really need that at the moment. Uh, you can use any editors uh, just to put your tokens in and kind of, uh, descriptions. Uh, the, my tutorial is based on this one, Clash of Clan API tutorial. I, this is also from Clash of Clan forum. Um, you can find it. I'll put the link. Uh, the person has done that really. Good job to get started and understand how 
uh, how your uh, server was able to retrieve the information from the national API. Uh, it's, it's good for understanding, but if you're going to make something, I would recommend like you know, learn first, okay, build the learning block, and then continue doing it. Uh, other than that, uh, let's get started. So, I assume that you already have registers and you're logging. So, just for security purposes, I have separated them. So, once you have logged in, you will see your login page. Similar to me, you, your name will appear here. And there's again, get, get, get getting started and documentation. I definitely recommend you to look onto these because there are more information if you want to gain more knowledge information so the next thing is you want to click on my account uh the one you click on it will be probably empty because uh you haven't created it yet uh here your name will appear your name and then the email id here so i just blow them up because it's my personal information so the next thing you want to do is create new key once you go there you will yeah, they will ask you to name your key Put descriptions, just put anything you like, and then put your IP address. Now, when it comes to IP address, if you put your local IP address or private IP address, it will not accept. Uh, the reason because it just doesn't take a uh, private IP address. Um, so your private address, IP address could be like 192.168.1. So don't bother about it. You're going to have to go open up command prompt and type IP config and everything. You don't really have to do it. There's many other ways to get the IP address they're looking for. But I will show you the easy and simplest way so that you don't get yourself lost here because if you're following my video, I would recommend following it. But if you know how to get it, then it's absolutely fine. I will do it. Uh, so, uh, once from here, I would recommend you just put any numbers uh, from any IP address range. So, uh, for example, 118, so, so things like that. Uh, so I'll recommend something there. Something uh, like that. Yeah. Create a key. Because for now, we just need one key in order to get our IP addresses, except they are sending information from this computer to the server. Um, that's what a, that's the purpose of doing it by the moment. Next thing, once you have this, and so so you will go back and click. Uh, it will take you go back to your account, and then you will have this kind of key logo here, and your information will all here. So all you have to do is click on that, and that will bring you to your token page, where you have your all the information, relevant information, your IP address that is allowed to send uh, request information from the site. And all you have to do is that just copy your token from here to there. It probably will be longer than this because this is just a, a random type numbers that I type in for security purposes because I don't want you to bear my two tokens. And, uh, this is, this, these are things that are very sensitive for security. So make sure that you don't even give your give out your tokens. So next thing you do is just copy, and then uh. Go and open your exam uh, control panel because we will need that in a minute. So just open it and you want to start the Apache and MySQL. Start them. But both click on start and just minimize the screens. That's all you got to do. Next thing, you have to find where the exam is. So you go to your C drive, where you have, wherever you have installed, if you have D drive, E drive, whatever it is, you must have installed when you installed the exam. So go to the go there and search Xam. And when it comes, you go go to that folder and find the folder that says HT dot because that's that's where your uh so when you run a server and your index file is uh, running up, it, the first thing for it looks the Xam server will look from folder from here when when, when you're trying to run it from the top. Um uh, you would then download the fold the folders that are included in my video. I assume you already have that. Um, Clash of Man API tutorials. All the files will be down here. The code. 
you wanna, if you don't wanna download it, if you wanna get it, you can, you can go back to that uh, form. Copy and paste it. But just for the sake of simplicity, I have included that file into my channel. So the second thing you wanna do is just copy and paste it folder there. You might have other folders. You you don't wanna mess them. Just leave them as they are. I would recommend to delete them just in case if you start conflicting between two folders. Anything like stopping your um port to forward this. So I would recommend if there is any other folder, uh, just to let them. Or if you've been using, if you're an expert person, you know what you're doing. Then just copy that file and paste it. Okay. So now we have the part where we actually request and that uh, we will get this error like this. So before I go further, I want to go back a step a little bit. I'll show you. So this is when you open in your editor. Well, so I just go and open folder, go to my that Z5 where run HT docs and then select the folder and all properties. So the only thing that you're going to mess with the two sections is plan tag and tokens. So you if you remember your API tokens, right? So yeah, you copy them that uh, that you copied, you paste them here, and you put your client tag which you want to retrieve the information. Uh, this whole code can be modified the way you want. Uh, you would need a little bit of uh, expertise into them. If you know HTML, CSS, PHP, and JavaScript, you're good to go. You're more likely to be like more advanced point as you build it up. So you put your token here. Just take this away, and whatever your token will look like this, put it there. And then you put your contact here, yeah, so cash, whatever it is, put in. Once you have done, you want to open your browser and put type in this local host forward slash clash of clan API tutorials. So in your case it is with tutorials because my folder is clash of clan API. Once you type it, it will throw an exception error. So it will say, find an identified index uh, from that folder, line 32, fail to send information. Obviously, it will fail because you haven't sent the information, you pressed the information from rep IP address. But the, what happens here, the IP address that they will show you here is the, is the one you need to create your tokens directly. So all you do is just copy that tokens because I have replaced it with the numbers because I obviously I don't want to give my IP address. What you do is replace that and you go over there and assign you create another key name whatever you like descriptions and then again put that the ip address that you just copied from there paste it up, and create your key and then whatever the key you can delete the previous one because you won't need it anymore recommend uh for that i will recommend you to name two different keys differently you can say like uh, test first one and the second one whatever you want to exactly name it and name and uh, delete the one you don't need it and once you have that copy your token and simply go back again and then paste your token and you're absolutely good to go. so next is Putting your local host for slash clash of clan API and just press enter. Boom, done, done. done. Description, everything will be formatted like the way code is in formatted, and it will bring the information from the API. That's it. Uh, at this stage, it may not look um, good or not really uh, labeled correctly and things like that because. It's just to get started because many people like I've seen people that go oh, in there doesn't borrow I'm not able to receive information how do I do this how do I do this? so just for sake of simplicity I keep this in bold because I could have like over this and go through but you know what just keep it simple and but if you want to continue further if you think that oh okay I want to do this just do it um, I also do recommend you to look on the documentation definitely. 
And it also explains how they retrieve the information, how they uh, send the information to the information on the day. Uh, yeah, so far. This is, uh, I think, uh, it's a great tutorial on it. Uh, very simple. Uh, if you want me to do more, like how do we connect APIs to our Discord servers and able to retrieve information, you can do that as well as. Uh, I mean, in the community, there's already tools out there. If you're not really looking into making yourself one, uh, you're more than welcome to use them. They're really, really great tools. Uh, but if you're wondering how did they came to exist, obviously, you go back uh, here to how they're retrieving information. Uh, I do hope that you like this tutorial. It was very uh, simple. Uh, I keep it, I try to keep it as much as simple, but if you want to look future content on this and like this sort of content uh, out there, then do comment, like, and share. Uh, let me know what you think, what you like to change, or if you're looking for a specific development area that you want to use this like API and develop or game to another level, uh, let me know. I will try my best to answer them. I'm not really active YouTuber here. It's just a simple API because people have been requesting me personally to make this. I do know that I have a little bit of knowledge on this. Um, I'm not really expert in this, but I, I myself am a full stack developer, so I do know what to do and how to get the information, you know, how to work on this such level. But I will try my best to help. And I, I, I do hope that you like my video content, something different. And I, I think it will benefit the community. So, see you guys next time.